everyone. I hope you're having a great day today. We are actually going to do a read aloud. Um, but before we do that, I want to draw your attention to the pictures that are up on the screen. It has a word up above it that says compound words. Well, today when we do our read aloud, there are words that are in our reading that are compound words. Now, you're like, Miss Proctor, what is a compound word? Well, a compound word is two individual words that you could put together to make a new word or a new, um, a new word altogether. So look at the picture. It says uh, this photograph right here is a rainbow. You can take the word rain and you can take the word bow and put it together and actually make a new word, which is rainbow. So today when we're reading, I want you to be really good detectives and I want you to see if you can spy some of those compound words. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our story. Now, our story today is Things for Wings. Now, now look at this. This is a beautiful owl and it has a, his wings are spread out and he actually, um, he actually has his wings spread out and he is, um, getting ready or is in the, in the part of flying. He's in the motion of flying. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start reading this story. It's by Donna Rice. We've read stories from her before. Um, and there is the table of content wings, what wings can do, and then the glossary, okay? All right, here we go. Wings, there's the title of this page. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Do you hear a flutter? Do you hear a flap? You may be hearing wings, wings on things. And if you see, this is a photograph of a duck and he is actually, looks like he's trying to catch something in the water. And then this is a butterfly actually on a flower. Now we're still looking for those compound words. So keep your eyes open. Many things have wings. Birds, bats, bees, and butterflies all have wings. How many things with wings can you name? Let's see if you can think of something else that might have wings. Now, I was thinking about a flamingo. That's a really tall uh, bird that is pink, and it actually has wings as well. All right. Now, oh, look at this beautiful uh, photograph of a ladybug. And then there's a picture of a, uh, I think that's a type of a crane. It's a type of bird. Teeny tiny things may have teeny tiny wings. Ooh, this is a good word right here. Did anybody notice that that is a compound word? Super sized. That's right. You can take the word super and you can take the word size, put them together and make a new word, which is super size, compound word. Super size things may have super size wings. So they're basically saying this bird is a super sized bird, meaning it's another word for large, huge. All right. So we found one of our compound words. Let's continue reading. What wings can do? Now, some bur some wings, sorry about that, can fly. Just look at them go. Some wings cannot fly. Now, do you know what type of bird this is right here in this photograph? We've read about it in class before. That's right. It's a penguin. They have other jobs to do. They can help animals move around. Wings can help animals look bigger and tougher, too. Wings can even help animals communicate. When a male ostrich, that's the type of bird that's up here in this photograph, and there's a close-up picture of his face, it's got a long neck, wants to mate, it uses its wings to show it, it flaps his wings like this. Let's read it one more time. Wings can even help animals communicate. When a male ostrich wants a once a mate, it usually it uses its wings to show it. So you've got this uh, ostrich back here, the black one. Basically, he's fluttering his wings, letting the other ostrich know that that uh, he likes him. He wants to be his friend, right? All right. So here's another one. 
Oh, I see a compound word on this page. Do you spot it? Can you see it? Wings can be slow or wings can be fast. A hummingbird's wings can flap 50 times in one second. Now, I've seen hummingbirds out here at my house and um, out there uh, actually uh, feeding off of some of the flowers. That's how they get their food. All right, so let's see. That's right. I see that uh, compound word, hummingbird. So you've got the word humming because you can go, mm, and then you know what a bird is, right? So you put those two together, and that is the name of this bird right here. This little, he's look, he's so tiny. If you've ever seen him in real life, he's super tiny bird and they move so very fast. Because remember it says it moves 50 times in one second. That's a lot of moving. All right, let's go to the next page. Wings can, oh, there's the word, okay. Wings can glide, soar, and swoop. Those are really good adjectives there. That's right, really good adjectives. We're not talking about adjectives today, but I know that you are looking at those photographs and you are reading that text and you can spot this one is gliding right here. This one. And this uh, eagle, this is a photograph of an eagle and he is soaring, soaring meaning he's going through and then you've got the swoop look at that he's swooping down what do you think he's getting what do you think he's swooping down to get i think he is trying to get his uh meal for the day and wings can put on quite a show go wings go and those are flamingos right there. Do you know why they're pink? They're pink because they eat shrimp. That is one of the things they love to eat is shrimp. And the shrimp makes their uh, the color of their uh, feathers pink. All right. So we have on this on the on the glossary here we have actually found hummingbird as a compound word. And there we go. I know I knew somebody would find it. Butterfly. Butterfly and hummingbird those are compound words butter you can have butter the stuff you use to put on your toast and then fly is something that an animal with wings actually does right so let's go ahead and go back to our compound words and remember you're going to be able to create compound words using individual words to draw pictures and explain the meaning of the compound words but I want you to stop the video. I want you to scroll back through the um, story and read it by yourself. I hope you guys have a great learning day and enjoy some reading.